Hi and welcome to this week's video. My name is Cynthia Wakeo, the Communication and Events Manager at Corporate Staff and Services. And as usual, I am joined by Mary and we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic on how you can research the salary range when you're job hunting or when you've gotten that interview and you're expecting that, you know, what is your salary expectation question how you can know what to, to say and what the industry um, range is. Thank you for joining me for this conversation, Mary. Thank you, Akio, for having me yes. again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. So when we're talking about salary ranges mm -hmm. um, for your position, maybe I'm a communication, uh, communication specialist. Uh, how, wh why is it important for me to know the range in the industry uh, for the position I'm going to interview for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very important, I, that I must say, because <laughs> employers are very determined to offer a very low rate or yeah. rather pay mm. to, to the staff or to the employee. It's mm. one way they, it helps them to manage on costs as mm. well. Yeah. So it's very important for every professional who is uh, job hunting. From the time you get that invite for an interview, before you even do any other thing also think of the salary how much are they paying in this position how much do i want to earn yeah. because from the time you are sending out applications you also know what you're worth yeah. so you are hoping that the opportunities you are applying for will attract also a, a compensation salary that is able to compensate you well for your worth and the values that you're able to bring on board yeah. so it is very important that is the first thing that uh, a candidate should think of even before going for that interview. Knowing the salary range or the salary scale also helps you to be able to know, after doing your market analysis, you are able to know the skills and the values that you have. If they are in demand skills and experience that you've been able to acquire, then you are also able to know how to negotiate. So you will not find yourself in a situation whereby maybe the potential employer is trying to downplay you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are able to challenge them because you have also done your research, you know what is uh, offered in the market yeah. with regards to that particular role. Mm. Yeah. So it's a common thing to hear, do your research before. <laughs> <laughs> so when we say do your research, mm -hmm. uh, could you help, could you give us tips on how, on the sources available mm -hmm. to help us get these salary ranges before, you know, going in for an interview. Great. Yeah. It is important, just like I said earlier, for the candidate or the professional to do research. But the question is, I know I get most of the time is, how can I tell if I don't have an inside information completely mm. on how much they are willing to pay in that role? So where can I get this information? There are um, some sites where you can be able to tell a salary range that is uh, given or offered for particular positions or job titles and some of these sites all information nowadays is available yeah. online mm -hmm. you only need the internet to search to some extent and some of the sites that you can get to visit are sites like um, glassdoor um, there is also salary.com which normally has a very wide range of uh, listings in terms of different job postings titles and how much people are professionals are earning in those positions depending on the industry and sector mm -hmm. also there is another uh, site that is also that also comes in handy you can be able to get information from there that is the salary expert uh, they are linked to over 300 other sites so with 300 different sites you're able to know at least you'll be able to get the position title you get to know the which industry or sector is this and how much are they people normally earning in that position. Mm -hmm. Another site where you can get that is information which is readily available, I can put it that way. We have different recruitment firms. Mm -hmm. And what do recruitment firms do? They advertise for positions available or opportunities available from different organizations or companies in different sectors or industries. So sometimes you find that they have posted an advert and they've also included their salary range yeah. yes for mm. that particular position mm. so you can as well take advantage of that or you can visit that company's website or organization you can also get information from there mm. i normally say in a worst case scenario where you don't you're trying to do your research but you can't get a range or a, a figure 
um, immediately, then you think of what you are currently earning. And the, the amount you are earning per month grows. Raise that grows with about 30 or 40 percent. Then make the 30 or 40 percent the minimum in the range that you are quoting. Mm. Because like I said earlier, employers have really determined to pay the lowest yeah. amount. Mm. So the minimum in your figure, if it is a company that pays depending on how you negotiated the salary, yeah. chances are high they'll be settling <laughs> with the minimum in the range that yes. you gave. Yes. So it has to be something that you're also mm. comfortable with. Mm. But definitely the range gives room for negotiation. Yes. Yes, does. and also you're able to sell yourself in terms of your worth. Yeah. yeah. When we were speaking earlier, you talked about the competitors' mm -hmm. um, websites. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us more about that. What I mean by the competitors' website, for example, um, if you are um, applying for a position in the insurance industry, for example, yeah. maybe it's a general manager role with, uh, let's give an example of Jubilee Insurance, and you are in Britain, for example. Mm. So you get to find out how much do their competitors pay someone in that position yeah yeah so that is you are also able to get at least the range in that sector mm. or in in the market that industry range. yes yeah. there's something i've learned actually mm -hmm. i never thought of some of the sources mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that one can find that information yeah which is very helpful uh, other than uh, negotiating based on your value but also knowing that showing the employer that you know these things. Exactly, and, and you're also able to challenge. If yeah. they are giving you a very low figure, mm. you are able to challenge them and you're like, I've done my research, this yeah. is what is in the market right mm. now. Yes. And based on my experience, mm. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure that I am able to deliver, so the compensation should be equally something that is worth the value that I'm able to bring on board. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. As you've heard from our interview coach herself, these are some of the job strategies that uh, we address even here at Corporate Staffing uh, to assist you uh, get better at your job search and land your dream job. And with that, we've come up with a course, a job search skills course, uh, that we're going to link in the link below in the comment section, uh, where you can find out more information on what you can learn in this course. But it's basically strategies to help you when you're looking for a job in uh, the aspect of uh, the strategies, research, CV writing, LinkedIn, um, and even interview skills. We hope to see you in the next video. And uh, leave a comment and share this video. Goodbye.